Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Apple caves to Trump, deals critical blow to China. China is a bad faith actor on the world stage, and you can't really blame them after our leaders and others gave them a free pass all these years. What China has accomplished in 25 years is extraordinary, but for the way it was built, it would be celebrated. They either bought, swindled or outthought our leaders into selling out the power bases of their own countries, the middle class, and Trump won in no small part by promising to restore the balance. Look, China got away with everything and now they must adapt to the new reality that we are suckers no more. If they don't, expect more of this to come which would cripple the Chinese economy. From Bloomberg, Foxconn Technology Group Chairman Terry Gu said the iPhone will go into mass production in India this year, a shift for the largest assembler of Apple Incorporated's handsets that has long concentrated production in China. Gu said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has invited him to India as his Taiwanese company plans its expansion in the country. Apple has had older phones produced at a plant in Bangalore for several of years, but now will expand manufacturing to more recent models. Bloomberg News reported this month that Foxconn is ready to start trial production of the latest Typhoons in the country before it starts full-scale assembly at its factory outside the southern city of Chennai. In the future we will play a very important role in India's smartphone industry, Gu said at an event in Taiwan. We have moved our production lines there. India has become the fastest-growing smartphone market in the world, while China stagnates and Apple loses share to local competitors such as Huawei Technologies Company and Xiaomi Corporation Apple has been a minor player in India, in part because of its high prices, but local manufacturing would help the Cupertino California-based company avoid import duties of 20%. For Foxconn, the China market for iPhones is saturated, and labor costs are three times higher compared with India, said Karn Chow Han a Gurgaon-based analyst at CounterPoint Research. India is still an emerging smartphone market, it has a lot of potential domestically and could serve as an export hub for the region. Gu also said on Monday that he plans to step back from daily operations to focus on broader strategy. The founder isn't stepping down or relinquishing his chairmanship, said Louis Wu, special assistant to Gu. It's not yet clear how Apple's steps into India will affect its China operations. China has been the company's most important manufacturing base for years home to Foxconn's biggest facilities and hundreds of other partners. Foxconn already has two assembly sites in the southern Indian states of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, where it makes devices for Xiaomi and Nokia. Locating more production in India would help diversify Apple and Foxconn's manufacturing footprint away from China amid ongoing trade tensions with the US. The Indian assembly line of Foxconn's Han High Precision Industry Company would serve local and export markets by the time Apple announces its next iPhone models in September, people familiar with the matter have said. The Taiwanese contract manufacturer, the biggest maker of iPhones, will initially invest about $300 million to set up for Apple with investments to ramp up as capacity expands, they said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.